Next, I'm gonna teach you guys a trick or two with some celery. A lot of times what you do is just grab a celery and you just chop the back of it off. Now I'm just gonna show you what you can do with the end part of your celery. When you chop your celery off, this is the end that you've been cutting off. Grab the celery like this and you cut in an angle, you cut down. Okay, you cut it all the way without cutting the rest of the celery stalks and you pull this little piece out and there's the beginning of your flower. Now, you want to make sure, because like flowers usually have petals that they're the same height, so you want to make sure you, you do the same height throughout the whole flower. And you just cut in an angle down, then you pull it out. Sometimes, you know, you have a little piece that doesn't come out. You just cut a little deeper and pull it out, yank it out like that. And then you just, you know, go all the way around like that. And when you come to the center, you want to leave those little leaves in the middle and that will become the pistil of the flower. It will keep really good if you put it in ice water and uh, it should keep up for three to four days. Over here, um, with celery, I made kind of a wreath. Um, that's pretty cool. Let me take the garnishes out so you can see this better. This is pretty easy to do and it looks pretty fancy. So I grab celery stock just like that, okay? And lengthwise, I half it to the middle, okay? And then I grab a paring knife. Um, and then I cut it in an angle. And then just keep going all the way through. Make sure that you go in a nice angle so you can get a really nice effect. What will happen when this goes into the water, it will curl up the celery so it becomes circular like this and then you will have a nice wreath overnight.